Hey, do you guys like watching those uh, fighter analysis videos where the videographer um, breaks down specific fighters and say three or four techniques that they use to great success? I love watching those videos too, like especially modern martial artist, rainy day, bo rainy day boxing. But my favorite of all is Lee Wiley because he really, I can tell, has a historical and um, internal understanding of all these boxing techniques that he breaks down. Now, as much as I love these videos, um, and I will continue to watch them, I've got to say there are two really bad pitfalls that people could fall into, um, especially if they're not someone who already knows how to fight or has already fought, either in the cage or in the ring. First pitfall is that sometimes, or quite often, um, these videos can lose the forest for the trees in a sense that they're showing, um, they're accurately showing a series of techniques that a, um, a fighter uses, but sometimes they miss a fundamental underlying principle that the fighter's using. So for example, as much as I enjoy modern martial artists and as much as I really, you know, admire the late great Ramon Deckers, who's absolutely one of my fighting heroes, um, in modern martial artists, um, he misses the key underlying principle that Ramon Deckers always used to set up um, either his kicks or his punches. Now the reason I know this is because I had the opportunity to train with one of Decker's former training partners. And the, the thing is, there are certain principles or certain techniques, if you will, that you can't even see on a video. You need somebody to explain it because it's something that's internal and it's not even visible um, to the naked eye. So if I didn't have somebody explain to me what this principle was, there's there's no way I, um, no matter how much tape or film I watch, there's no way I could have figured that out for myself. Um, even probably the greatest of minds wouldn't be able to visually analyze tape on Deckers and figure that out unless they were someone who um, who trained in the same school or the same system or alongside Ramon Deckers. So just as, um, you know, uh, Gracie loves to refer to invisible jujitsu, um, there's invisibility to all fighting uh, systems because there are things that fighters have to do with their hips, with their center of gravity, center of mass, uh, that you can't see on film and you can't even see it sometimes just watching you can feel it if you work with that person but that's the whole point is in the end you can't learn to fight from watching a whole bunch of videotapes no matter how, how great the videos are the forest for the trees there's a second pitfall which um, really is happens more for people who who aren't already fighters so if you're an aspiring fighter and you figure, hey, I'm just going to watch all of these great analysis videos and I'm going to pick out techniques to use and then I'm going to educate myself on how to be a fighter, that's a huge pitfall because that will not work. Um, I call those plum snatchers because they just figure, well, I'm going to take the best from uh, Gervonta Tank Davis and the best from Floyd Mayweather and the best from uh, David Benavides and I'm going to put all this together and I'm going to be even better than all of them because I'm taking the best of everything that they can do and combining it in myself and it's like okay well that's a little bit delusional um, or it's completely delusional because uh, first of all you can't teach yourself those techniques by watching a YouTube video and then trying to imitate it because one you don't know even if you videotape yourself and are honest with yourself in terms of comparing what you're doing to what they're doing, well, it's just, it's no, hab, ha, no matter how good of an imitator you are, you're still a white belt and you're trying to imitate a high level black belt and that doesn't work. You have to walk through the fundamentals first in order to get to the point where you could be you know, a tenth as good as, as one of these guys that you're watching on YouTube. Uh, the second huge pitfall here is that 
you need to go and learn uh, boxing or MMA or whatever techniques from an actual human being coach who can guide you through again the fundamentals and who can tell you how to shift your balance or um, how to adjust uh, your body mechanics but the, you're not going to be able to figure that out for yourself even if you compare the video of you to the video of whoever you know fighter you're trying to imitate um, bottom line is you really cannot learn techniques by trying to imitate a videotape you have to learn from other human another human beings uh, um, educated eye watching you and you have to train with people who are also um, somewhat educated who can also help you and guide you and tell you if you got that right or if you need to make little adjustments to your techniques when you're drilling um, I'm noticing that there's a lot of this I guess it's Gen Alpha or Gen Z I don't know what we're on now but they come into the gym and I could tell this is what they did they just watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and then they show up for open sparring and figure hey they're gonna jump in the ring or the cage and uh, execute their moves on us and invariably they're like the most uncoordinated unrhythmic um, non-athletes that try to do this and it's just like you just spend all that time doing that you built yourself up you came in here and figured you could just spar it's it's like no you should um you should take some classes you should learn how to execute properly Bottom line is you cannot learn how to fight by watching videotapes and trying to copy them. You've got to learn live time, in person, from other human beings. Now that said, if you're somebody who already knows how to fight and has an educated eye, I think a lot of these videos are, are great resources because if I have, say, a specific question on how to solve a specific problem and I know fight a certain fighter that that ha has that capability I can kind of hone in on that and take a look at how they deal with sp specific situations I think a much more helpful resource for some of us who are already fighters and definitely for those people who are aspiring fighters I think a much more helpful resource is for you to search um, Search those fighters that you admire and see if you can find footage of them training or teaching. So for example, there's plenty of footage out there of Ramon Deckers um, teaching seminars. Um, most of these uh, seminar, um, seminar footage of Ramon Deckers teaching, there's no like voiceover explaining what's going on. So you're just going to have to watch it and hey, then try to imitate the drills that Ramon Deckers is teaching. Again, you don't get an explanation, but it's through training that you arrive at the explanation. I don't know if that sounds a little too Zen Buddhist monk for you, but and honestly, I think that's a better way to go than to try to just copy what Ramon Deckers was able to do in fights versus other world-class kickboxers. That's just a little bit unrealistic, don't you think, if you're a beginning um, fighter? But if you copy some of the combinations he throws and you understand the rhythm he uses and you un also understand the sort of work ethic he's expecting from the people in the training, um, then I think you get a much more realistic picture and uh, that's a much more valuable training asset than just trying to copy moves that someone brilliantly pulls off in the heat of the moment versus another world-class fighter. Now some fighters um, have also made um, video that's actual explanation. They're, I mean, they're actually explaining to the video audience what they're doing as they're doing it. So for, again, for example, um, Ramon Decker's teammate, Rob Kamen, or Common, um, had a series of originally VHS tapes, but they've been transferred over to YouTube. And again, these are also quite helpful. Now. It's not like you're going to get, as this one guy claims, 10 years of boxing in 25 minutes. No, you're not, because uh, Rob Common is walking you through um, a whole workout or how he builds up on his bag work from the warm-up through a series of combinations on the bag. So, yes, it's going to take you more time to watch these types of videos, 
but I think they're much more um, they're much more applicable than trying to watch um, and imitate you know like I said something that somebody does in a fight it's don't look don't try to copy what fighters do in their fights copy how they trained what they did when they trained you know, here, here's one real irony for me is that people want to copy Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao in some aspects, like by buying the exact same sparring gear they use, but they don't want to copy Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather's ab routine, which that's, that's there on YouTube if you want to do Manny Pacquiao's ab routine or Floyd Mayweather's. I mean, uh, do that, like do a tenth of that and see how much fun that is. Um, that's my point. You, you got to copy the work ethic if you want to get um, to be an actual fighter. So again, um, I'm not trying to denigrate um, these um, folks who do these boxer analysis videos. I think they're a great resource. They're they're wonderful content to have there out on YouTube. I just think that for some aspiring wannabe types, they can um, kind of be more be a pitfall um they're a great resource for for somebody with an educated eye um so just if you are that aspiring fighter don't fall into those traps of uh figuring you're going to be a plum snatcher or figuring that uh you can just gather um these techniques off youtube and put them together for yourself so that said let me know you what what are your favorite um, box, boxer or fighter analysis videos and uh, what do you like watching um, on YouTube to get answers to your questions? Let me know in the comments below.